Peace, 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 family. How you all doing? I hope all is well with you. My name is Keisha. I'm the owner of Ascendant Astrology, and I am your astrology coach. Today, I'm going to be discussing the Pisces new moon, which, by the way, this Pisces new moon is going to be lit AF. Um, I'm going to try to get into the more difficult parts of it when I do the transits, uh, the uh, aspects, sorry, of the new moon, which uh, I already did uh, Mercury and Aquarius. Mercury and Aquarius is going to add more very fun, interesting aspects to this new moon that we'll talk a little bit about, as well as um, Neptune squaring venus good lord have mercy and that's happening tomorrow which we'll start to feel today i'm going to do a whole nother video on that too and unfortunately it's going to be a little late because i'm trying not to overwhelm you guys with so many videos um but still relevant to talk about nonetheless as we are in pisces season and even though we'll be feeling those transits from today all the way until the 16th, I think what's more important to take from this information that's going to be given is that these are themes of Pisces and we have an entire Pisces season. <laughs> so get familiar, honey, with these terms and these themes that um, kind of resonate with Pisces because you are undoubtedly going to be feeling these in one way, some way, shape, or form during Pisces season. So it's not quite Pisces season yet. We're still in Aquarius season, but um, nonetheless, all still relevant. So before I go off into a whole tangent, as y'all know, I am extremely good at it. <laughs> Let me just get right to it. So uh, this Pisces new moon is happening on the 20th, which I believe is monday okay um and um that means for the next few weeks we'll be working on um uh manifesting for this uh pisces new moon okay and uh hold on guys sorry um this is the fourth out of five new moons at one degree. So when you have something at one degree, this is the degree of Aries energy. Um, so this is about taking action towards your dreams, intuition, emotions, um, building something. These are, are army, soldiers, physical injury, leaders, entertainment and all things global because Jupiter is the ancient ruler to Pisces and we'll talk some more about those themes in just a minute but um if things are not being built on real on reality they will be demolished and that's coming from that Saturn um moving into Pisces right uh saturn's going to bring reality checks to any energy it enters into among um, amongst other things which i think is going to be really great i think pisces out of all the signs needs a reality check not being funny or saying anything about pisces in particular but by definition pisces rules illusions and delusions and you need a reality check for that right just common sense speaking right and so um, we're going to, Saturn is going to help us be more realistic around those illusions and delusions that can come with Pisces themes. Okay. Um, so it's a good time to practice clarity over these next few weeks with this new moon um, so that you can manifest what it is you truly want. This new moon will be reactivated several times from Saturn moving into Pisces. So there's potential to manifest throughout the year in the material, in the 3D, which is really good. I like that. So write down these dates uh, that I'm about to discuss. March 19th, 
October 3rd and December 5th. We'll also go over those dates again, Avi, but still to be ahead of the game, be intentional, guys, okay, with the information that's being given to you. Um, also, this will become the full moon on August 30th, which is also going to be very important to um, culminating um, whatever you're manifesting. So plan for August 30th to reap your rewards, if you will, okay? Um, when Neptune and Venus conjunct, this is going to create more magic to create your dreams, romance, and spirituality in your life. So um, I'll be recording that video on the 14th, but I won't be posting it again um, until the 16th because I'm trying to post every other day so I don't overwhelm you guys with videos. And again, I apologize that it's late, but um, it's still going to be relevant to the energy. So it's important um, to just make sure that you're understanding the themes and know that to, it's, uh, look, it's not all bad. Okay. Neptune and Venus together can be really freaking romantic or extremely disappointing. So uh, I think I'm going to discuss the Roman ritualistic um, perspective too, and why everybody's like talking about Rihanna fucking up the uh, <laughs> the Super Bowl, which I think is extremely hilarious, by the way. But so typical for um, how the signs show up in real life. But uh, we'll talk about that in that video a little bit. I'm not going to go too too into it. I'll give you the information so you could do your own research. I just want to give you enough information so you could know why I think that shit is so funny. And hopefully you get a good laugh too. And um, Pisces rules manifesting, faith, belief, sensitivity. Pisces is the most sensitive sign of the zodiac. So we can be feeling emotional, um, emotionally overwhelmed, especially because it's in the moon, which is also just an emotional sign. Um, and this can be emotions again when you whenever you're talking about the moon this is your mother um or a parent figure um or a woman or another a female figure um family your legacy um your bloodline your home uh, lands property real estate uh, and children, all right? Um, and from a global perspective, it's the public um, and the public being in this emotional state. So we can most definitely see a lot of these themes coming up more strongly in the media and things of that nature. Um, Pisces is a water sign, so we can see a lot about water. This is a really good time to cry. Cry is about cleansing. And this can also be a time to cleanse and renew uh, for rejuvenation. Again, I'll talk more about that in the ritualistic video and how water can be used as ritual. Um, I also am still working on the Uranus through the signs video and how this can be um, relative to massacres, death, and uh, a few other things. Um, both Scorpio and Pisces have a strong connection when it comes to criminal activity, sex and sex industry, and um, you know, quite quite criminal. They're they're criminals. All right. So there's some really uh interesting things that I think I'll be talking about. Um I'm doing I have Scorpio Uranus and Scorpio done already. I haven't quite gotten to Pisces yet, but I'll be talking about that in in the um Scorpio video how Pisces and Scorpio kind of have some of the same traits. So uh you don't want to miss that family, just stay tuned. <laughs> um it's not funny. It's really not funny. It's actually kind of creepy, but um yeah. 
So there can also be a strong feeling to source here, the divine, unconditional love and healing. Um, Pisces also rules dreams, visions, um, deja vu, daydreaming, signs, symbols, sleep, relaxation, retreating, creativity, and actual retreats, like uh, where you go to do ayahuasca or like um, whatever I think of Pisces energy. And I think about retreats, I always think of that movie. Um, I'm pretty sure I said it here before, but of course my brain, you know, she works when she wants to. But, um, oh my God, who was in that movie? I think it was Phase On Love, the black heavyset dude. Um, there's really quite a few good actors in there. I don't really know their names like that. The girl who played in the black chick who played in all of Tyler Perry's um, Why Did I Get Married movies. Um, oh my God, what the fuck is the name of that movie? Something Retreat. Anyway, so um, it doesn't have to be just about ayahuasca or some spiritual retreat. It can actually be like... Um, when you go on one of those retreats that you like pay for where and, and everything is like planned out for you where you do like activities pisces is the precipice of specifically boat rides and trips and things of that nature but again it could be any kind of trip um but themes so like um a valentine's boat cruise or a love boat cruise or you know uh r b boat cruise just themes you know they're really really about different kinds of like themes okay um pisces also rules uh mental prison actual prison mental health hospitals um asylums mental institutions um and jupiter is the ancient ruler of Pisces. So morals, ethics, education, specifically higher education, universal law, uh, spirituality, religion, culture, travel, long distance travel, like outside of the country. Um, and the bigger picture, again, going back to that idea of global topics, topics about other countries and what's going on, world views and perspectives, philosophy, if I didn't say that already. <laughs> um, kind of like, um, it could be content creation, um, being on YouTube, public speaking, publishing, um, and uh, like a website. Um, yeah, so... Mm -hmm. so there can be a wave of like new spiritual teachers emerging right now or um you're being called to be a teacher in some way shape or form i think we're going to see a lot of people stepping up to the plate even like initiation and things of that nature, especially with Aries season coming up, you can feel like you're being initiated or something's being completed and you're moving to the next level of something, starting over energetically. Um, even with the Saturn energy, it could feel, um, not Saturn, the sun will conjunct um, Pisces, right? Don't quote me on that. I'll be talking about it either way. That's another transit that's going to, an aspect that's going to happen to this new moon. So um, it can feel like something is more towards that, going back to that ritualistic energy, especially with the sun, because now we're talking about Leo energy. And that's all about Africa and my personal opinion. And, um, how they kind of operate over there. Traditional is more like um, storytelling, a Nazi. And we're going to talk about that in the in the Neptune video, just a little bit, not too, too much. Again, um, but arts and how art, how we learn through art, that used to be our education system. We didn't have like, you know, this um, 
the way we do things now, you know, it was more old fashioned. We lived off the land. We were more hands on and things of that nature. Um, so we'll see a lot. We're going to feel a lot like, um, a cleansing an ending and things of that nature. We could even be more like interested in detoxing or taking some kind of liquid because it's water sign to detox or doing against water rituals to let go release or crying, right? Just crying, simply crying is a form um, of releasing. Okay, or cleansing something, something starting over fresh, new. I might do like a little post uh, talking about um, just that set, that sun uh, conjunct the moon energy from a ritualistic, point of view put some some key terms in there for you people to, so you can see how this could be playing out i've actually just made um i was drinking um cocoa banana and i put some vitamins and stuff the vitamin powder and stuff in there um that shit was fucking good actually so you might like really be into making like potions, um, liquid diets, smoothies, drinks as a way to cleanse, you know, because uh, remember the opposite of Pisces is Virgo, right? So there is health and it rules hospitals and to some extent <clears throat> health, mental health, you know, doing something to cleanse and form. You could actually change your mind about things. Like I think this, if you use, like I said, family, if you use this energy correctly to your fullest potential, I guarantee you're going to feel brand new. It's going to be, even if you don't and you're not into those types of things, it's going to feel like a new day. Okay. I think we're going to feel it. We're going to be moving into airy season naturally. It's a new year, the real new year. I don't think that people are going to miss that energy of like, all right, what's next? What's the new challenge? Because this is going to come with new challenges. Like, let's just be realistic, right? Let's not be in our Pisces illusion and be caught up in thinking that, you know, we're going to cleanse away all of the bullshit, okay? Um, but just definitely more so the past and past things that you've been dealing with for a really fucking long time already that you are just done. Like, you're done. You're over it. It's gone finito. And then you're going to be like, know how to deal with them now. And trust and believe every time those three dates that I gave you that Saturn's going to hit this, it's going to be a test, okay? To, it's something from the past in some way, shape, or form. However, this is showing up for you is going to come back. It's going to be a test to see if you're really done with the things that you're saying you're going to be releasing at this time. So, you know, be intentional, family. Use this stuff to your, your benefit. Um, yeah, so use this next few weeks to uh, really um, write out, be creative, hang stuff up on, you know, what do you want for yourself next? What are you letting go of and releasing? Um. Pisces is also a mutable sign, which is, again, about the change of the seasons. So um, really take this next few weeks to reflect, too, about what you don't want. It's not just always about the new. You got two weeks, so you can use one week to release old and what you're letting go of. And um, like closure, you know, like I'm closing out a chapter. I'm finalizing something. I've completed a project. Again, it's going to be different for everybody. And then use that following week to stop manifesting for all the new things that you want. Um, so you might need quiet time to think. Pisces helps us detach to work on our imagination, intuition, creativity. You might actually feel like you need a break and um, taking time off. So this is good for vacation um, time, although this is also uh, storm season, right? I'm not making that up, am I? Or is that more of a summertime thing? um yeah i think it's storm season specifically rain because it's it's a water sign so be careful if you are going outside of the country make sure you check the weather 
Uh, because this is uh this can bring storms. Um <clears throat> this is a great time to cleanse, stay hydrated and grounded. The lower expression of Pisces are things that are hidden, self-sabotage, letting go, lack of clarity, lack of direction, illusions, delusions, scams, catfish, and disappearing. So again, family, I'm going to talk more about this in the Neptune Venus, because I think those things come really um, close to it. But also even Venus is about money. Um, be careful who you trust right now. And who you give your money to over line, or online. I remember I was just um talking to a co an old co-worker last night um from my last job. And um we was just reminiscing and talking and shooting the shit. And she was like, remember how one of our other co-workers got received an email stating from our boss stating that she wanted him to go to CVS to purchase something. And he was really going to go do it. And then at the last minute, he was like, yo, wait a minute. Why the fuck would she even be asking me to do that? Wouldn't that be something she would ask Louise to do? And thank God he said something because it was it was not real. And Miss Louise was like, yo, I just got one of those the other day. And, and then we was just kind of like all going back and forth and talking about it. Like it always seems to happen when the big boss is out of the office. Whenever she's there, we never got any of those emails. And we was just, you know, so I say all that to say, you know, be careful with people trying to get your information and getting real creative on how they do that. Um, you'd be surprised uh, how good they are at doing that shit. Um, even like psychics. And I know, especially for me uh, me in the astrology world, I get all those emails all the time. And all the spiritual people do with their cat fishing them, stealing their identities um, and making new pages and then sending people emails like, you look like somebody who needs a reading. I'm picking up on your energy and your energy. So shut the fuck it, okay? <laughs> Don't don't trust them, you know, and just, just be, be extra careful, um, during the Pisces season for real, not just these, uh, next few weeks, but, um, the entire Pisces season, because they might just amp up the ante, you know, um, so disappearing is also ghosting to me, okay, um, I was just, you guys know, I do the psychic hotline where I take calls and this girl was like, um, I met this really nice guy. He had great pictures and he seemed to be real. They'd been talking for quite some time at this point. Um, got tickets, show her the room. But when she got there, the hotel room didn't look anything like what she said. You know, you, you just never know out there you guys just be safe especially dating online now it's um you know it's a crazy world out there all right pisces also rules pharmaceuticals drugs oil and dependency specifically codependency um um so we can definitely hear some more about Ukraine and the war. Um, the how people how we're going to be moving forward with COVID and any expectations around those things, and um, drug drug wars. Um, I think Saturn being in uh Saturn going into Pisces. We're going to talk a lot more about drugs. I, I did. I wrote down some notes from my other video that I did. I'll talk about that in a minute. But these themes are going to come up quite heavily. Um, <clears throat> let me see. I feel like I missed something. Um, the connection to Mercury can bring memory issues communication issues and i'll talk more about those aspects to mercury as they come up i didn't do that in the mercury video because again i'm really working on trying to make these videos a sh shorter than longer um but 
Um, yeah, I do think that there's going to be a lot of psychic activity here. Um, people not being able to say what they want to say, having to be patient when in relationships, especially when it's when when we're trying to uh, get our talk about our emotions. Um, and it doesn't have to be relationships, uh, or just romantic relationships, either family. This could be family. When we're talking about Mercury, Mercury and Aquarius, remember, I specifically said this is about teenagers, right? I really think <laughs> we're going to have a lot more communication from them or struggling with communication with them. Okay. It just depends on where everybody's at. Um, and them trying to like say how they feel or whatever. Well, maybe people are just needing help with talking about their feelings um, with Aquarius. Just don't see it happening, just to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, it's not easy. Saturn, Aquarius energy is just, it's just not easy. Um, and you could be forgetting things. Things uh, are lost, actually lost in your memory. So like dream analysis, forgetting your dreams. Um, and, uh, forgetting things like, I don't know if anybody else experiences this, um, every time, not every time, but a lot of the times when I get ready to go to my kitchen, it's always the fucking kitchen for some reason. I think it's a Venusian thing. I always forget what I want and I end up having to just... <laughs> excuse me, turn around and come back because I forgot what the fuck I went in there. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Um, And then uh, Neptune and Venus conjunction is going to address karmic relationships, karmic behaviors and patterns too, okay? And remember, karmic isn't always bad, but I am going to address some of those things in the Neptune Venus video um, and hidden secrets. All right. So these are scandals. Unfortunately, people live in double lives. Uh, somebody having more than one relationship, um, especially coming out of Aquarius season. The unconventional relationships are real. Um, just saying, um, we can feel, um, confused from lies and deceit and a lack of clarity and direction when it comes to our dreams. Uh, we can even be reluctant to change, um, and procrastinate. Um, I really feel bad for you. If you're in this kind of energy, um, and it's little things, family, okay? We're not talking about, you know, you got to be like, it's got to be something big. The energy just wants your attention. Just to acknowledge the fact that you understand that this is something that needs to change. And to be graceful with me as I move through this process, as it's not easy emotionally, right? Whenever we get into these kinds of conversations, I always think about the AA community whenever I'm talking about Pisces and just going back to storytelling and a Nazi and how important it is sometimes to just say things out loud. Let the vibration hear you acknowledge the fact that you got some, some habits and things that you need to change that you're not sure which direction you should go in. You're walking around with rose-colored glasses. You're escaping from reality because you just don't want to deal. You're having drug problems um, because you have been hurt. It, and it's such a deep, profound hurt. Um, it's lost and you don't, you don't want to find it. That's not funny. But that's literally Pisces energy. Um, getting lost in a bottle, the bottom of the bottle, you know, um, looking for your answers at the bottom of your bottle, uh, drinking, you know, talking about alcohol. Um, these are so, all AA terms and uh, conversations. And I think 
Um, maybe you're not an alcoholic or you're a sex addict. Uh, this is all group work. <laughs> you know, when you think about those groups that come together to say, you know, I, hi, my name is, I have a problem. And um, you're really just trying to find your way out of that problem one day at a time, right? That's AA's community's uh, most famous term, one day at a time. And um, doing little things that you can do, the things that you can control um, and not worrying about the things that you can't control. So I'm not saying this as, as a way to, like when I say be intentional, know what little thing you do is good enough, right? Um, but do do it, right? Because then you you have to answer to Saturn, right? Because then Saturn comes in and helps you break it down into manageable pieces. And if you don't do it that way, everybody already knows a Saturn, what a Saturn return feels like. It can literally feel like the walls are closing in on you. And with Pisces energy, this can come with extremely dark um, results, uh, trigger warning. Uh, Saturn is at 29 degrees of Pisces. This is uh, missing people, suicides, drowning, mysteries, ghost stories, aliens, scandals, you know, you know, just you know, be careful, you know, be mindful. Um, because Pisces rules entertainment. Now, uh, Whitney Houston's movie just came out. It, it got released back in uh, the end of December, if I'm not mistaken, um, in the movies, but now it's out on DVD. And uh, they did a really good job of I really, really, really liked, and this is this is this is goes along with this ritualistic um, energy. By the way, um, they did an amazing job at for one holding Whitney accountable for her life and her actions and how things worked out. You know, everybody wanted to blame Bobby. Um, as if she wasn't her own person and didn't make her own decisions. And that entire movie is all about her. And it specifically shows how nobody talked her into doing the choices that she made. She made those choices, which is very Leo-esque, by the way, uh, being the opposite of Aquarius, my God. Uh, but it was also really sad, right? Because in situations like that, I guess you just want to blame somebody you would you want to believe that somebody was pushed into those and i think for the most part it was pressure that was another theme a uh, feeling pressure to do things um and that's what caused the um drug addiction um and it was her decision to end her life because of that she came to a conclusion that she was never going to be the person that she was always just trying to do. And that's all she kept saying towards the end of the movie. I actually cried. I did. <laughs> like a big fucking three-year-old. I was crying before the end of the movie even came. I was like 15 minutes in and I was like, this is going to be sad. I can already tell. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, but they did a good job of not showing the actual her drowning herself but she prepared the water and it and the way they they kind of flipped it as a way to say you know what happened but what they did was they showed her giving her final chance when she came back after she got out of rehab and everything else and then that one slip up which was the decision that you know she made like i can't do this it's either gonna be you know that I go back into the game and that's it. I'm an addict and that's who I'm going to be known as, or I'm going to be living my life the way that I am. But with the fate of the realization that like, Oh fuck, I fucked up my life. And, um, and she chose death. Um, 
and they didn't show it but they just again they just showed her sorry spoiler alert mad late i totally should have said that in the beginning my bad y'all but um i really really like the way they they covered that up and not show her but also ritualistically the thing that they kept saying is that Whitney Houston was the um princess of America bitch about something about your disgusting ass country that's why I'm gonna leave it alone after this they really seen her as their daughter you can see it they have a sick twisted relationship with us that I think is it's really fucking creepy right and the more I see it the more disgusted I am but the one part of the movie that they made also very clear was um a part when they were saying that Whitney Houston wasn't black because she sang a lot of white songs and she performed for a lot of white people and um she had that one interview with the black guy who actually asked her that question and what she had to say about that and she was like that's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life she was like I'm not singing for anybody I just know how to sing and she put him in her in his place I know people actually will probably remember that it was a while back but um what I really found interesting about that is that the timing so it was 1982 when she started this um I think it said 1982 don't quote me on that but that was the reason why I went back to the old video that I did um with the first video I did talking about Saturn entering into Pisces and I I went down the line of like um the history and um I just don't want to lose my space, guys. But I do have to talk about this because it's gonna, this is gonna be very important to what happens over the next year. Remember, anything we're talking about right now that's happening right now, outcomes right now is what we can expect to see unfolding for the next year. This is a yearly report, okay? Uh, and we're talking about the crack era right? And how many of us are suffering still from the problems of that? And um, prison to pipe, is it prison to pipe? I don't think prison to pipeline. I can't put that in there, even though, you know, that's obviously a real issue. Um, but specific, I'm trying to be specific to this time in this era. This is the crack era. Um, The women's rights, I think, was really big at this time. Or even we've seen outcomes of that because it could have happened before. I don't really pay attention to the history of it, but it's definitely a thing here. Um, and uh, the RICO laws, the drug laws, that's what it is. And all those other things, because uh, that's when uh, Biden... Remember, Biden was, I don't think he was the president. I think he was like the vice president for somebody else as the president. But he was the one who, you know, was doing all the, the, the crack commercials, you know, when all that stuff was really, really big. And it's so interesting that he's president now. So pay attention to the outcomes of him being president and all those other things. Okay. So I'm just going to go, go back right quick. Uh, because that was another theme that was coming up for me quite strongly. Another movie that they just did that I think was very interesting was The Reading. And mind you, let's be real fucking clear here. Miss Cleo had a video coming out. A video, a movie coming out. I don't know if anybody, it was a documentary. I don't know if anybody's seen that. I haven't seen it yet. I should go look for it and see if I can find it. But um, interesting how the reading comes out out of fucking nowhere. So I, that just makes me want to watch Miss Cleo's video even more because anytime, and I've talked about this before, so this is nothing new. 
Um, but anytime they do movies like this, nine times out of 10, they're hiding something or they're trying to distract you. And, or again, it's always ritual to say spirituality is scary. Now, um, trigger warning in both, um, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about the movie. So if you haven't seen it yet, block your ears. Well, but I would go see, I would watch that movie. If you guys want to know the free website I go to to see all my movies, because no, I don't fucking pay for that shit. Um, just DM me and I'll send you an email with the two websites that I go to for free movies. Or unless you know how to um do the the what 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 is it that you can like jailbreak um the thing? And I don't know how to do all that shit. Okay. But um the movie the reading is about monique being a murderer a, towards a psychic now i'm gonna leave it at that because this is this is just such fucking pisces shit but the fact that she had to be a murderer is just trying to make pe like they know people are getting ready to wake up. So they put this stuff out there to freak you out so that you don't think about those. And it just infuses the fucking idiots already out there who don't believe in this shit already, which pisses me the fuck off. Just period. OK, <laughs> so, um, yeah, Saturn can bring limitations and boundaries to mental health homelessness, um, any of the addiction programs and facilities, prison, pretty sure we're going to hear more about that. Again, oil, gas, and water, um, depression, annoyance, sadness, disappointment. Um, we're going to see a lot of depression, annoyance, and sadness and disappointment, unfortunately, especially around these kinds of themes. Uh, we can see a lot of health-related issues coming up, issues in other countries coming up, issues with mental health, issues with addiction. Um, the government might limit practicing faith. So again, they're coming after astrologers, psychics, intuitives. I think um, one reader, reader, astrologer so far said that she noticed that her algorithm is making people, is making her um, her lose followers so that's only one person i haven't heard anybody else say that i wonder if that's something that's gonna grow or you know i have one other person who says you know everybody out there thinks that people are woke and um you know they're they're especially in relation to tiktok specifically um this message was towards uh, but be careful, be mindful. Everybody is not waking up. It's just that the algorithm is going to connect you to more people on that trajectory, um, which I thought was very, very an interesting perspective. But I'm pretty sure that a lot of these topics we're going to see a lot more people talking about right now. Either you can't get in touch with spiritual people, they're going to block your algorithm, uh, limit your algorithm, or... Um, you know, you're going to see you're not, you don't have con on, on enough um, uh, air time. <laughs> you're just not going to have access to people anymore. Um, We're going to hear what's really going on in prisons and how they get paid for that. It's fucking disgusting, that entire system. Um, the truth about pharmaceuticals, the opioid crisis. Um and suicide. Um, I worked in the drug and alcohol community for maybe about eight years. It could be more than that. And um, I got to tell you, they got to do better. Um, it's just a loop. You know, it's a loophole, just like the hospital systems. It's just a band-aid. You know, they're not giving you real solutions to get better. They're just pacifying it, you know, and that was the problem for me. And that made me sad and depressed. I, I honestly, as a human being, don't know how anybody can work in that community without, you know, losing it just a little bit. <laughs> Uh, just to be honest, uh, the prison system, um, they mesh 
drug dealers with drug addicts. It's an absolute fucking mess. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's a disgrace. It's an insult to those people and the lives that they leave. And that's why they end up, you know, cycling. Just like, just, it's like a real fucking trap. And honest to God, man, if there's anything that could, that could be cleared up that I would ask to be cleared up, it would be that. It's between the homeless, the addicted, the prison, and the mental health. How the fuck do you put those people all in the same program? in the same facilities, in the same environment. It's disgusting. They need their asses whooped. Seriously, it's it's terrible. Uh, not to mention the nonprofit is the same. It's the same thing. You know, they, they get these contracts to do nonprofits and you have to follow and abide by their legalities and expectations whenever you do nonprofits. I don't know if anybody out there knows anything about how business works. Um, and look, I'm not saying that some people haven't been helped. You can talk to some people who've been through AA and they swear by that shit. But look, if they go outside of the lines of AA, they will tell you, I can't do this without following within the confines of the practices of AA. Are you fucking serious? You don't think that's a loop? Come on. So you're trying to tell me I can never be healed? I can never live a normal life again? Yeah? Oh, come on. It's it's scary to think of it that way. Um, but um, the nonprofit world is the same exact way. They have these kind of guidelines that you have to abide by. And it just keeps people in a loop. It doesn't allow them to grow and change and actually evolve as people. Um, yeah, so that's my whole spiel on that. I did put down some more other themes on what uh, Saturn and Aquarius era came with the last few times we had them. And again, that's the crack era. MTV started um film and actors uh became a really big thing illness infections and plagues i should have wrote down the the years but i didn't but I, I but i talked about it in my first um saturn and pisces video um pirates um religion uh, secret societies too art um slavery okay y'all already know uh this Pisces is the outcome of slavery, okay? Um women's rights and nonprofits, and then the Oculus. So the illusions, the illusions, the rose colored glasses, not seeing clearly, that's gonna become the Oculus, the the world that the the um digital era that they're trying to create so they already got a commercial was that a commercial did i completely make that up no i think it was a meme of this kid who i think he was on a roller coaster i don't really know but he had an oculus on he was in school and he was like and in the caption it said he really fucking thinks he's in another world <laughs> and you can see the teachers coming in to get him because he was like making a ruckus he was like it was, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, it's already happening, family. Like, it's here. Um, be careful, be mindful, stay grounded, drink your water, and mind your motherfucking business, y'all. I said it. I said it because it's here. As usual, family, I hope this information was helpful. I love and appreciate y'all. Peace.